What's going on guys? Today I want to talk to you about a few different things. First of all, the new lens that I have is a Canon EFS mount 10 to 22 and it is phenomenal. I have it zoomed all the way in right now and I still have all this to the sides of me and I'm probably only two or three feet away from my lens right now. So it's really cool. The second is I'm currently recording on the Rode Video Micro, which I think is the best video microphone that you can get for the money but I also want to talk to you about the two other lenses that I have that I believe are the best that you can get for the money not the best that you can get period but how much how cheap these are these are the best lenses you can get in my opinion next I want to talk to you guys about the different lavalier microphones that I have that I think are the best lavalier microphones that you can get obviously the purple panda right here but then also the, the Mike J I actually forget who makes this um, I don't have the packaging anymore and I honestly forget but it's the Mike J um, and it is phenomenal for the price both of these are less than $40 for lavalier mics and those are really great I'm gonna be using those both on an actual recorder and just plugged straight into the microphone so we'll be able to see kind of a comparison and why in most people's opinion, it's better to use an external recorder, even the H1N, than it is plugging straight into camera. So let's figure this out. Okay, first on the list is the 10-22 to that I'm currently filming on right now. It is phenomenal. It is a f3.5 to 4.5, so it's not going to be super wide open, but it's still enough to get a shot that you might need. I think it is the perfect vlogging lens because you can literally hold it just maybe 10 inches from your face and still have so much room to do whatever you want with even on a crop sensor lens like the 70D uh, which is the camera that this is being filmed on and I think it is a great 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 lens the 10 to 22 right now is also Canon has a rebate on it so you can actually pick one up instead of spending almost 700 for it you can get one right now for 399 and I think it is the best thing that you should pick up you always need a wide angle lens, even on a crop sensor, this looks amazing. It really does. Like I said, this is already zoomed in a little bit and I have so much more room to play. Like I would zoom out, but there's so much crap on the sides of me. I don't want you all to see that. The next lens is a very, this is probably gonna be controversial for most people, but I think the kit lens that comes with the 70 and 80D, the 18 to 135 uh, Canon, kit lens for the 70 and 80 D I think this is just a fantastic versatile lens it is a zoom lens so you got all that extra range in there and it goes all the way down to 18 which I think is fantastic but also if you want to do portraits you know zooming out to 50 it'd be about an 85 well it wouldn't be an 85 it'd be like a 79 or whatever but you get the idea it'd be a nice it's a nice lens the only downfall is I do wish it was a little bit more able to be opened up it is a 3.5 to 5.6 so it's the same as the 10 to 22 but the 10 to 22 is so fantastic but I wish it was a little bit better on on the low light side but uh, that's just you get what you get but I think that for the money right now you can pick these up for like a hundred bucks or a couple hundred bucks probably even if on like eBay or something but if you shop around like Facebook marketplace or Craigslist you could probably get this thing for probably just a couple hundred bucks at the most um, it's it's just I would recommend picking one of these up if you don't already have one if you have a 70 or 80 D you have one just use it figure out ways around it you don't need L series lenses to get a good image you just need to know how to use the gear that you have and I'm sure you hear a lot of people talk about that you don't need expensive gear to go out and make something spectacular you need the skill behind the gear um, and I, I think that's I think that's very true you don't need L series lenses to get a cinematic look you can use the 10 to 22 you can use the 18 to 135 and still achieve that perfect big depth of field that just really nice colors everything you can get if you know what you're doing out of this and a color grade um, this I think is probably the most versatile lens. I think it is probably the best lens that you can get money wise. Um, just as a beginner, 
I would recommend picking one of these up and definitely pick up the 10 to 22, especially if you want to do vlogging or any kind of maybe real estate videos or something like that. A wide angle lens is going to look fantastic. The next lens is also one that you can get in a kit. It is the 75 to 300 Canon EF mount. Um, it's, it's a great lens. It isn't the best quality lens, but that being said, it's still, in my opinion, it's still a great camera for what you, or great camera, great lens for what you can do with it. Um, like I said, it is a 75 to 300, so it has that super long uh, range on it as 300, and it's just, it looks really, really good. It's not the sharpest lens. It is only an F4 lens, um, which is kind of a downside. That's really it for the lenses. Um, I really do think these are the three best lenses that you can get besides a 50 millimeter. I don't have a 50. I used to have one on my GH4. Got rid of the GH4. Now I don't have one on my Canon, and I'm going to get one very, very soon, but I don't have one right now. But that is another lens that you need, like you just need, you just need a 50 millimeter. That, the, like, go watch any other filmmaking YouTuber or photography YouTuber, you need a 50 millimeter. Go watch Peter McKinnon, his lens videos, 50 millimeter. Matty Apoya, 50 millimeter. Anybody like that, you're gonna need that kind of lens as well. Next, I'm gonna be testing out these lavalier microphones. Um, the first one I'm going to be testing out is the mic J. So let me go ahead and plug this in and show you how it sounds. All right. So as you can see, this is the mic J that I have on right now. You can probably already tell a sound difference. One, I'm not that far away from this, but I'm sure this is picking up a lot more of my voice. Um, but this is the mic J. So this is the test for the mic J. I'm just trying to test these out both myself. I've never done a comparison of them by themselves. I just know that they sound good on their own already. So um, just let me know what you guys think. Next, I'm going to be plugging in the Purple Panda um, and seeing how that sounds compared to this. So remember what this sounds like because the next thing you hear is going to be the Purple Panda. All right, this is the Purple Panda microphone. I do have it a little bit higher up than I did with the other one, but it's in about the same position. Um, this is a pretty normal position that you would have in it anyway. Most people tell you that you don't really want it up this high, that you kind of want it somewhere down here, and that is fine, but I'm wearing a t-shirt, so it's going to sag a little bit, and it's not going to be the best quality for the lavalier placement. It's really up to you, though. I would prefer to have, I don't have any stickies with me, but if I did have some, I would probably put it around mid chest, just above the diaphragm, right in this area to get the best quality sound. But this is just a comparison test. Um, but let me know what you guys think between this one and the mic J. Next, I'm going to be plugging both of these into my recorder and showing you how that sounds. All right. So what you're hearing right now is my video micro Rode video micro that I have on the top of my camera on the uh, cold shoe mount. Um, this is, or I guess it's a hot shoe, but you know what I mean. And this is the audio from the Purple Panda plugged into my Zoom H1N recorder. Um, just let me know what you guys think about that. Um, like I said, a recorder, in my opinion, is the best way to go for audio. But if you do have it plugged into straight in, into camera, for some sort of interview or something like that. Um, the Purple Panda comes with an extension, so it's a lot easier to do that with this than it would be with the Mic J. So that's just kind of what you got to play with. Um, I can use the extension for both, luckily, but um, just let me know what you guys think. This is the Purple Panda microphone. So now you're going to be hearing the Mic J. All right, and this is the Mic J. Um, this is the exact same levels that were as the Purple Panda. I didn't change anything. I didn't move the dial. I didn't do anything. This is the exact same. Um, just let me know what you guys think between this one and the last one. Um, again, this is the Mike J. The last one was the Purple Panda. This is the Rode Video Micro. Comparison test for this. This is the Mike J. This is the Rode. This is the Mike J. All right, so let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I have been Ryan, and remember, be creative, and I'll catch you in the next one.